Thus at Infernus in Terrace Parent. At your vast time and And that is how you trap a demon. And that is how it's done. I just got a little scared in the studio here. That is Miranda Otto trapping demons and slaying as Aunt Zelda on Netflix's new hit show, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. And we have her here in studio. Miranda, thank you for joining us. Hey, pleasure. Hey, pleasure to have you here. We got some demons we might need you to slay out of our oh, lives good. here at ET right Live. Up the street. I hope I can remember Perfect. the Latin. But yeah, if you can, just bring that spell up because yeah. I, got, I got some past. I got some ex-boyfriends we need to say goodbye to. <laughs> Miranda, so everybody's loving this show. Um, it's, of course, a reboot, a reinvention, a darker retelling of this character, Sabrina, that we all love. Mm -hmm. And you took on the character of Zelda, which people knew from, you know, the show in the 90s, but yeah. it's so different. How much say did you have in crafting who Zelda would be, and what did you want her to be? I got a fair bit of say in some things, but I, I, I feel like Roberto, who wrote the show, um, had a really strong idea of what he wanted, and the writing was really specific, which is what I really kind of um, hooked into when, when I took the part. That's why I wanted to do it, because the writing was so strong. Did you, in reading it, sometimes even get a little bit like, whoa, are we, because the show's dark, like, oh, we're, yeah. we're going here, we're doing this? Yeah. No, I like the dark stuff. The dark yeah. stuff's what got me in. I think it was when in the second episode. Um, spoiler, but um, the, the killing of Hilda was the thing. It was like, oh, I want to do that. That would be so, so much fun. And how have you felt about the fan reaction? Because it's a show people can binge and people are becoming obsessed with it so quickly. The fan reaction has been amazing, actually. Like, I've never been on Instagram or any of that before, but just to see how many people are watching it and what a buzz there is on social media about the show. It's been, uh, and people are so nice. They write such nice things. Right, you joined Instagram and now you're kind of sharing some behind the scenes, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, thank you. She's on Instagram and she's slaying all the demons, including the social media ones. <laughs> um, so we've gotten all of C Season one, but you barely had a break between filming these seasons, we right? We had a week, a week, one and week. we went straight on to the second season. We're already finished. We're shooting 117, so seventh episode of the second season. Uh, the how do you do that? Do you call upon your own magic to say, I gotta power <laughs> through here and keep filming? I mean, it, that, that's kind of crazy. And is there a way that you unwind when you're that busy? Unwind. I, I don't think I've had much of a chance to unwind. It's just been going, going, going. But I mean, look, we have such a great cast and it's it's a fun set to be on and there's always sort of something creative happening. So it's it's a fun place to work. And what, wait for it, can you tease for us about season two? Uh, it's, I think it's, I would say it's even more witchy than season one. Okay, not even more, more witch witchy. Business. Not more witch business. More witch business. More I like that. Business. The business of witchery. Mm. Did you have a lot of spells to memorize for season two? Uh, no, more in season one in okay. the spells, but okay. there's just more about the witches. Okay, which we want to see. Yeah. Um, if you had a couple adjectives to describe season two other than witchy. <sighs> More like for my character, a little bit more of a political journey. Oh, mm. interesting. Mm. Okay, I think uh, I can say that without yeah, <laughs> without getting away too yet. much. Yeah. Um, and do we know when we'll get season two? No, they haven't decided yet. But um, you know, we'll be finished shooting it by Christmas. So, okay. however, it, you said because it's comes out in 180 countries at once. They Crazy. have to do the dubbing for everywhere and the subtitles and everything. So it takes Crazy. them a little bit of time. Now, everyone is also hoping for that Sabrina Riverdale crossover. Do we know where that's at? Can we see you as part of that? No, well, Roberto always says never say never. Sure. So, I mean, we, we shoot in studios very close to each other. Greendale and Riverdale are very mm -hmm. close to each other, but it would be a matter of finding something that made sense story-wise for both shows, right? But do you think it could be found? Um, I, I think Roberto is capable of anything. Of I'm sure if he wants to do it, he will make it happen. Just walk on over so close. <laughs> um, also want to ask you... it could be you, a Halloween episode or something, right? Miranda, thank you. Perfect. <laughs> Hitting the nail on the head. Um, now, I know your teenage daughter, mm -hmm. she is, is she a fan of both your show and... Did she watch the the original one, the one with um, Melissa Joan as well? She has seen okay. the original one. I haven't, but she has caught up with it online and stuff over the years. She's watched it. So has she weighed in on your version of Zelda? What does she think? 
She's really enjoying it. She just finished yeah. it on the weekend. She was a little bit frightened by some <laughs> things in it and asked whether I could watch it with her. But um, no, she's really enjoying it. I love it. Well, I mean, we know you from so many uh, shows. I loved you on Homeland. Um, I have you. to ask you, I do know that there's a Lord of the Rings series that's maybe in the works. Have yes, you? someone told me that, but I, I haven't been contacted about it or anything. But yeah, I have heard that they're doing a series. Would you do it? I'm pretty tied up right now. Oh, she's pretty this, tied up. You know? All right. Well, I hope you can make it happen because we have loved you again. I mean, you, you've had so many magical experiences. You pick these super fun boss female roles.